Jefferson and her executive, who made a mistake in Barcelona, uh, to the ATC and I hire the SASC members, our alumni, students from other campuses, or whatever students from MSCF, and you all will come to or our MC, praise and worship team, Amen. Standing before you, Dona Gurumbolo, who's out of Agati. Amen. Dona Gurumbolo, we are called on Sidi Siwe. Also, David Chepesino, like I am. Amen. 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 Our speaker is Prophet Sandy Lensimana, married to Nomte Mugama Bunda Simana, the father to two girls and one boy. Born again believer, raised and groomed in the Apostolic Faith Mission at Richmond, KZN, and studied at AFM Theological Seminary. Now a senior pastor and divisional of Thy Will Ministry International in KZN, Eastern Cape, and Western Cape. Pastor and directs the main assembly in Possession. A prophetic teacher of the word of God with a mandate on faith, a traveled and a sort of and a sought after conference speaker in and abroad. Finally, a gift to the body of Christ in our generation. May we all clap our hands. said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, no, we have not even heard that there is the Holy Spirit. And I'll just read that verse with you. Our telos, our our text for this gathering in about John 2, where the Lord said, In the last days I will pour out my spirit Amen. upon our flesh. And, uh, <coughs> 
When you believe, did you receive? Because it's received by those who believe. You, you first come to John 3.16, then we push you to the Holy Spirit. No, I shall not know Jesus. I shall not know more. When you believe, did you receive the Holy Spirit? The first experience is Christ yes, sir. making him your Lord and the Savior. Yes, sir. The second experience is to receive the Holy Spirit because you believe. So I will go find some general morning well in a Koduang. So this is the that is the I thought I should start today. Who is the Holy Spirit? He is the third person. The Bible points out to God as God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Mutatu in person. Because sometimes you guess what he is soup. Mude says a Mose said I for an Utu Mubaba or the husband or past to put me tattoo moon I shot in it. These are two persons. The record says that Jesus was baptized in the river called Jordan. And then the Bible says the spirit descended in the form of a dove. They say it and their voice speak and say, This is my son. In yes. So you can see this one in the water, the other one descending, the other one speaking. Yes. And I heard it from him, Jesus. In the book of John, I think chapter 16. He says, I am going to the Father. And I will ask the Father to send another, the Comforter. So there's the one going one, going to the Father, the second one. And he will ask the Father to send another, who is the Holy Spirit. So we do a start at And this, this will be the premises of my discussion with you. The reason why I, I wanted to point to him as the person, so that I assist you from an understanding that power is him. Power is manifestation of his presence, but not him. Yes, sir. For even when you don't see power, he's there. Yes, sir. He yes, sir. is not power, he manifests himself through power. Yes, sir. We are coming from a beggar, you right? Are you sure? <laughs> We are coming from a background where 
manifestation of his power. We were taught that it is him. Uh, I think at that time uh, it was easy because we didn't have a mantra like like today. So for when in shop, let's just take the man out. See how big I'm trying to go. The days we are living in, there's so much power. Yes, One thing I've observed with power, both evil and good can give similar results. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the record of Exodus 7 tells us a good story. Moses, which I will put in the book, the Pendulinok, the two followers, the the magician came through the Lord, the tent into a serpent. Yeah. So when you come, Ubona is in the book, as the Pendulin is in York. But from different sources. So now then it makes the source to be greater than manifestation. Amen. Hence again, the emphasis of the Bible says, judge the spirit, not power. Yes, sir. Because you must know the source. Yes, Amen. It is in the record of the New Testament where Paul and the other servants ministered in. And there comes, is it again? Amen. Prophetically, through discernment, Yasez Zwendagulo declared, these are the servants of God preaching the gospel of salvation. And then the, the accuracy of the prophets, they were the servants of and they were preaching the gospel. But the Bible says, Paul in the spirit, and rebuke the source of the prophecy. I must be this prophet. So I want you to, to, to journey with you to the source so that even when we see power, we cannot move until we know the source. There is no power that should make us to jump if we do not know the source. Today's power is not convincing until you know the source. So now we see, see, see upgrade from the information we know about it, a man, see uh, to the person Holy Spirit. Yeah. Simply because I think there's no problem with that. What is happening with what, what God is doing in the body of Christ, revelation is progressive. He put on a lens with the Revelation is progressive. I was speaking yesterday. I was saying to them, How many of you know that Siba prophet never posted a pen? Now we prophet. Are you your one? Now we prophet. So at the, at the inception of the gospel, evangelism was prominent. Yeah. The evangelist. So we move about Martin Luke and your prophet, John West, who were very evangelistic. And then it came a time where teachers and pastors were becoming prominent. 
This is the error they did. Bashaba family. But you say Bambega show Tisha now na bo pastor Bambega na prophet. Na ba pastor, na ba peswa ko bashaya. And the we final spot but it last as we are gonna see kupuga. The step is a circle, so as far as we saw. It is part of this progression. So I'm just saying that what I'm going to say here, I'm not taking away the emphasis on power. I'm a product of that teaching. The emphasis on power. Because when we see power, we are convinced it to come. The Lord is at work. And I, 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 the manifestation because all the records of the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament, the Bible will say, and the Spirit came upon so and so, and so and so performed this. The Spirit came upon so and so, and he prophesied. The Spirit came upon so and so, so the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, it appeared as it is here. And the teaching was that Maubona no Buso was to hear. That's where I am. Are you hearing me? Today, today, Mabuwa Umundu, it does it. We must be sure. It must be. It must be coming from discernment to say it. Let me put it the other way. Mark pinu mundo da. That it does it. A full felicity. It must be coming from discernment. So I thought, let me give you that approach to the scriptures. So the Holy Spirit is a person. Now this is what I want us to agree on. The teaching of the church from this has every contribution that is coming from the pulpit prepares us for worship. And it neglects life after church. So much that the understanding we have of the Holy Spirit, who calls, as now So we know Him. He will moya oski desire, os shumali desire, os prophetic desire, and it ends there. We never had the thought we do shala that. Hands again, shall need to worship. I'm saying the the understanding that we grew up, which we are taught, is that the Spirit is at work because we are in church. That's the Holy Spirit we know. That's the Holy Spirit we preach. That's the Holy Spirit we believe. And that is the Holy Spirit we have received. What's the soon? Now, I want to take you to Isaiah chapter 11. The book of Isaiah, chapter 11. Amen. 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 
Mpute mai zomboni wa. So, robusa lo ne bako. Bupele la kuno forwards. Mopu. And the, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, you base on the word shook. We shall understand the counsel, mind, knowledge, fear of the Lord. Let me pick up one thing. Knowledge by information and knowledge by revelation. Yes, <laughs> when it's knowledge by revelation, it is when you are made to, to know without a reflex, without a verbal communication. Yes. You just know. Sure. And you have no proof how did you know, but you know. Sure. There's another dimension there to often explain you. It is in the record of Genesis, if I'm not mistaken. The Lord saw that the animals do not have names. The Bible says, Uruguay says, Tata is Isaku Adam. The record says, He wanted to see what Umundu Uyotmes Bona Antizi, Loka Ugusho, Sigoba Makama Zopa. The next verse, it says, And the animals were before Uada. And he began to name them. Check. In between the two verses, there is no verbal communication no. where God says, Name. Then you ask yourself, How did he knew? There is a dimension where you walk on revelation and knowledge. Thoughts are transferred from above without verbal communication. Transfiguration, I'm told in the scriptures. And Jesus never found it. I hope I got that back. So it was the Lord Jesus who told us that as God did, not to Peter, as far as God did, as far as he did. We just went and done. We just sat and made God have a matter. The Lord Moses, the Lord Prophet, in Allah, the Lord Prophet, the Lord Moses did not live in the dispensation of Peter. And in the records, you don't hear introduction. Sure. <laughs> sure. So Peter just look and say, this is Moses. So look and say, this is Elijah. Sure. No introduction. There's a dimension when you, you just know. Sure. There's a higher level of knowledge. Sure. That is by the Spirit. When he dwells in you. Sure. But you are last. Make the Holy Spirit to dwell in you. Because this is what is happening with it. Leo Konza in a in the Old Testament, because in the Old Testament, he will visit. But it's different in the New Testament because who just remembers that he says he shall dwell in you forever. And Paul had to say to the Corinthian church, I Sure. 
we have been made to be a dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Right? Amen. 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 Oh, this guy's leaning on the foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, per foot shall you find Silla. Those are the cases that this was a pumpu, a cyborg. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, when he dwells in us, because I am pushing you to life, not events. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The thinking that the Holy Spirit is for events, he even said, Quote a funa season, I we event, what shall I eat? See, I'm feeling a special shield. See, Shaman and I in the next session. No, he dwells in us. Dwells in us. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of mind, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of fear. So, my if he dwells in them. Because we are not going to Saba. In course. We are saying, you might have done Saba. Sabu Mko kept Sabu Mko in the Sabu course. And in Kulu Utwito, Utwilu Mfundis. So when he dwells in you, he will teach you to. Holy Spirit, He who, who dwells in us. <coughs> so, so let's 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 put. Uh, and, and I'm going to look at this thing so that I can touch him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry. Hey, man, we need to tell the pen. I'm trying to tell us. He dwells in us. I think, I think, I think, I think here I'm going to draw the line, then I think I'll be done after it. The emphasis on being used by him is good but not good enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because he can use anyone and anything. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I see how many pipe Somehow, like, I was sorry. <laughs> he can use anyone, he can use anything. Wow, what's a missing bongo? There's a bongo. Look to the scenario here. Um, prophet who carries the prophetic grace, whom by definition is a seer. Usem bongo, Louis. Um, Ingelosi petting and rehoshi. Wabona ingelos. Obona wamabo. The gift of the prophet manifested in the dog. Yama, why shy? Hamba. Yama, why shy? Gunkul, what? No, let me take it fed. And he means Uli, we could. That is Bobon. Nagging and Nabai. He was on profit. Nagging and Nabai, no, which is Mountain Yenda when I was on Shayana. And the Bible says, And the Lord opened the eyes of the prophet. And the prophet saw the angel. Nanka looked in Kenbe Hoshi. Look at that. The prophetic gift, gift of revelation. If I'm Shina and Bongo Lui, and it ended. The 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 body of the Holy Spirit filled time talking believers. 
our, our, our emphasis on being used by him has made us to neglect him dwelling in us. The Corinthians, I think chapter 12, tells us about the nine gifts of the Spirit. Other translation says manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Please, please note that the Bible says these are manifestation. These are gifts of the Holy Spirit. It has got nothing to do with the gifted, but for those who need that gift. Hence, it does not change the gifted. Oh, you missed that one. Sure. Sure. This is pure axona esalo esigem esalaba azo konza bon. Inga kena shinj no mena le spiro as shinji en shinjabai. So, 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 it's a good thing to be gifted. The Bible recommends that. Then we must flow in the gifts of the Spirit. And now I'm in here to the letter. But I'm not concerned that if we look to the gifts, they only wait for you, God. Those of prophets out there, I'll only come as trees. Shut up. Jesus. The gifts are good. It's just like an overview that you are not safe with gift alone. Yes, You're not safe with gift alone. Amen. Amen. You are not safe with gift alone. Amen. Hence here, when you go to, to Galatians 5, it tells you a different story. It says, for the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Hey, Jesus. And then he tabulates them. Yeah. Well, as bad as ten. Let's go more. As bad as ten. Let's go more. Over the years, I've concluded there are fruits of the spirit are much more important than the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and I want you to hear me very well, Lord. If I let to come on. I want you to look at this. I have over the years concluded through observation that it's impossible to find the fruit in a dead tree. It's impossible. Once the tree is dead, no fruits. You heard that? Yes. Once the tree is dead, no fruit. It's impossible that you can go to a dead tree and find a fruit. Because of my age, yeah, I have then said to myself, okay, Nandi Kumi said it. It's possible to find a gift in a dead tree. And the proof is Christmas tree. I have, I have seen many gifts in a dead tree. In your arms, say something like 50. So, your uncle, when you have a book, is the poor, the big way, the shashin is free. Note, regardless of the deadness of the tree, but whosoever is around there can't wait to be to that tree. Can't wait because we are as good. There's benefit 
in the gift. Another one is that we begin. And who just had recommended that when he said, I tatan about show. Help me by your Holy Spirit. Because this is where you 
to have an experience of the speaking spirit yeah. that speaks within you. No, Moses, no, 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 don't get offended. Carry on with your one-on-one. -on -one. But let me say, lo yo muzwa ngabantu ngemlomo yabanye abantu uzawushiya ngilila. Lo uzwe ngayo. Kanye ma uzwe akhuluma kuwe. Hold by yourself. Kulume uma ingcela de ayilalela umsimba. Ovwa kusasa amangale ke ngamsapha. Amen. Yes sir. Let's begin.